mummies and mamshies alike. And I know this weekend is all about honoring you and me also and all the mothers in the world. So allow me to share with you one of the sweetest ways that we can express our love to our mothers and grandmothers also, of course. Today, I want to teach you how to make red velvet crinkles. So, ang secret ng anything red velvet talaga to make it moist is buttermilk. So, like our previous red velvet cupcake episode, we start with milk and vinegar. You put them together to make buttermilk. So, we let this sit 5-10 minutes while we combine all our dry ingredients. Do you remember the brown bag method? So, ang flour natin nandito na. Dadagdag na lang natin ang ating cocoa powder, baking powder, baking soda, and our salt. Okay. So remember, this brown bag method, para hindi marami yung hugasin nyo at para hindi lilipad yung mga flour particles. We will add our butter and sugar. We will cream them. And then we will add our eggs. Ang ating food coloring and vanilla extract will combine them with our buttermilk. So first, remember, tinuro ko na sa inyo basics ng baking. We start with our softened butter and our sugar. So naisip pong ituro sa inyo tong recipe because aside from it being a good gift item to your moms or kung sino man for any occasion, pwede nyo rin siyang negosyo yun. If you want to learn how to cost it, please use the Red Velvet Cupcake episode kasi nandun yung Costing 101 ko. Cream or butter and sugar. So your butter has to be at room temperature. That's what it means. Pag sinabing softened butter, butter siya na from the ref, nilabas nyo, nag-sit at room temp for one hour. So you use your whisk to whisk it for mga 2-3 minutes until nag-light yung color niya. So we cream it until it's light in color and fluffy, like this. Next, we add our eggs. Remember, if your recipe calls for more than one egg, you have to add it in your bowl one at a time. To avoid, kunyari, mayroong bugok, di ba? Hindi masisira yung buong batter mo. So one egg. Diba? Fresh eggs. Then we whisk it. Now, we'll go back to our buttermilk. See, if you can see it, may buo-buo na siya. That's what the vinegar does with the milk to make it into buttermilk. So, for all recipes that tells you buttermilk, milk plus vinegar lang yon. So, the ratio is for every one cup of milk, one tablespoon of vinegar ang idadagdag mo. We can combine all our wet ingredients. So, the red food coloring goes in and also our vanilla extract. This is our brown bag with all our dry ingredients. So, you're left with dry ingredients and wet ingredients. You can just add in the wet ingredients, everything. So, para mas madaling ipour yung dry ingredients in your mixture, talagang I suggest that you always use a brown bag. So, di ba? Walang lumilipad. So, one technique, aside from doing the figure eight, when you mix with a whisk, sinishake ko din yung bowl. Para mabilis, para makatulong siya. You will notice that our mixture, our batter, is very, very runny. So we need to refrigerate this para mag-set siya at mag-hold before we scoop it into our pan. Kasi i-dredge natin siya sa powdered sugar eh. Diba kaya yung crinkles, white siya, tas may cracks? So as it bakes, doon na-develop yung cracks. Kahit thick na siya, yung batter natin, runny pa rin yan. So, we really need to refrigerate it. So, you just mix it well enough until wala ka nang makitang flour. Then, this is good na. So, here is now our red velvet crinkle batter. Cover natin siya ng train wrap and we'll put it in the ref for at least one hour before we scoop and then we dredge in powdered sugar and then we bake it. Alright, so ito na ang ating chilled red velvet crinkle batter or dough. So, at least an hour, it will be this Thick. Para pag skinup mo siya, it will hold. And then you dredge it there. 
and then coat it in powdered sugar. So before you do this, dapat nakapreheat na yung oven mo. Dahil, pagka puno mo ng pan, dapat diretso bake na siya. It shouldn't wait. That's a secret for nicely domed crinkles. Hindi yung flat na parang mukhang tinipid. So like this. And then you give it a gentle pat. Now on to our cream cheese filling. So we only have butter, cream cheese, powdered sugar, sifted, para walang buo, buo and our vanilla extract. So we add our softened cream cheese to our softened butter. So fold it first before adding the powdered sugar. That way, hindi lilipad kasi kung ang flour, pwede siyang lumipad at malanghap mo, lalong-lalo na itong powdered sugar kasi mas light yung particles niya. Mas magaan siya. And so you combine first the butter and cream cheese hanggang sa wala ng streaks ng white and yellow. Light yellow na lang siya. Actually, alam mo, hindi mo talaga matatawag na red velvet ang isang recipe if it doesn't have cream cheese to go with it. It has to be at room temperature para madali mo siyang mafofold and mamimix. Imagine mo kung yung butter mo matigas o yung cream cheese mo matigas. Hindi mo siya makakalo this easily. Then, our powdered sugar, we add it in. Fold mo lang siya. Dahan-dahan. Be gentle. Yeah. And then, finally, our vanilla extract. Make sure that when you fill your red velvet crinkles with the cream cheese filling, eh malamig yung cookies mo. Otherwise, magme-melt siya. At magka-flatten. Hindi mag-hold yung parang burger-like na look niya. Here is our cream cheese filling. Next time to fill. Can you fill it? I fill it! As a reminder, bago nyo lagyan ng cream cheese filling ang inyong red velvet crinkles, make sure that they are completely cold. As in, wala ka ng init na nararamdaman. To make sure na hindi mag-melt ang iyong cream cheese frosting at hindi magpa-flatten yung sandwich mo. Okay? And you can be very generous when you put your filling dahil this is for your mother. Tinipid ka ba ng nanay mo? Kung bata ka, hindi naman, di ba? So, huwag mo siyang titipirin. This is our red velvet crinkles with cream cheese frosting. And like what I said, this is a nice gift for our moms. You can place it in a box like this. And because this is a nice gift for our moms, pwede natin ilagay sa glass jar, di ba? Alam mo yung mga nanay naman natin, hindi naman talaga sila after sa mamahalig regalo. Actually, sulat nga lang, okay na sila. But any gesture that can make them feel loved and that you appreciate them, they will really appreciate. Lalo na kung hindi ka naman nagbibake, pero bigla ka nagbake para sa nanay mo, di ba? So I'm sure your mom will really appreciate this. This gift. Yan. Ka. Akin ka. Yan. And then, we'll put a ribbon. It's a perfect gift for your mom on Sunday, so you have time to prepare this. If wala ka namang glass jar or budget to buy a glass jar, you can also buy boxes and put it in boxes like this. Okay, I'm sure excited kayo na matikman kung ano ang lasa nitong red velvet crinkles. But before that, allow me to share with you my special word of the day. So the verse that I chose for today, for our Mother's Day episode, is from Ephesians chapter 6, verses 2 to 3. It says, Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with a promise, so that it may go well with you and that you may enjoy long life on the earth. Alam nyo, obedience brings blessings. Kapag sumunod ka, lalo na sa magulang mo, who are authorities that God placed above you, God will definitely bless you. Take it from me, from someone na once upon a time ay pasaway at ngayon ay natuto ng sumunod sa magulang. You know, God will really bless you, your work, your career, if you obey and you honor your parents. Hindi lang yung mga payo nila kasi we can be obeying them kung ano yung sinasabi nilang gawin natin. Pero yung heart mo naman, hindi naman honoring. Sabihin, ginawa mo nga pero pag talikod mo, kagamit ka naman, hindi honoring yon. So to honor your parents, it means to appreciate them, to really understand that you follow them because they are your parents and that they know what is best for you. So we do that not just on Mother's Day, but every day. Ba? Because let's remember that obedience brings blessings. And the promise is that you will have a good long time. So of course, we all want that, diba? And if it, all it takes is for us to obey our parents, diba natin gagawin na? 
Happy Mother's Day, Mom and Wawa! Thank you so much for all your love and understanding and patience and sacrifice for our family. This is for the two of you already. And Happy Mother's Day to all the moms! Enjoy! See you all next week! Bye now!